Hey there, and welcome to this case study on how I helped sell six homes with only a $441 budget using simple Facebook ads. And we actually did this uh, within a week, the same week that we ran the Facebook ads. My name is Dan Henry, and I'm a Facebook ads expert and digital entrepreneur. I have been helping grow businesses with social media marketing for the past several years and I have gained national exposure from my results doing so. I have been interviewed on CBS, uh, local NBC affiliates, I've had case studies done on the top marketing blogs, uh, Business Insider and things like that. So I've been doing this for a little bit and uh, suffice it to say I'm pretty good at social media marketing and Facebook ads. So. Um, in, in this case study, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over with you some real estate results I had, and I'm going to show you how I spent $441 in Facebook ads for a client and helped sell six condos for a total of $900,000 in real estate sales. And again, we did this in one week, uh, and I, I kept going with this client for several months, and I'll get into the results for that as well. I just wanted to show you a case study of what we did in the very first week. So just to be clear, that means it only took $74, $74 in advertising per home sold, which I think is a really, really good amount, all things considered. So imagine if you could sell a home and only spend $74 to do so, or even twice that, really. That's pretty good and I'm going to show you how I did this how I set this up I'm going to show it to you right now so uh, this this case study is also on a blog called uh, or the blog of lead pages lead pages is one of the top marketing softwares automated mar marketing softwares and landing page softwares uh, on the internet and they actually did a case study uh, on me on how I did this as well. So there's some more information there you can go check out. Just Google Lead Pages and Dan Henry and you can find that. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little deeper in this case study that I'm gonna get into right now. So first of all, why Facebook ads? Well, essentially, you want sales, but you don't wanna overspend. You don't wanna overspend on advertising to get those sales. If you make a million bucks, but you spend 999,000 to get there, that is not so good. I believe you would agree. To give you an example, in San Diego, the average cost of billboard advertising for one month is fifteen thousand dollars, fifteen grand. Imagine if you spend fifteen grand on billboard advertising. What happens? All these cars they drive by this billboard advertising that you paid for every single day. They all drive by it, and you pay for all of these cars to see your advertisement, every single one. But only a small percentage are potential customers. So if you got all these cars driving by and you are advertising for a, a, a condo development or new model homes or whatever, perhaps out of this whole group of cars driving by, people seeing your advertisement, only two people are in the market for a home. So that means you're wasting your advertising dollars on all of these people. Not so good. With Facebook ads, it's a little bit different. You can actually choose who you show your ads to. So if you only target someone likely to buy your product, then only those likely to buy will see your ad. There are no wasted advertising dollars, which means if you target your potential customer properly, you can only show it to them. So the green circles are people likely to buy homes. The red are people not likely to buy. With Facebook ads, you can only target and show your ad to people who are likely to buy homes. Again, this gives you a lot more money for your advertising dollar, or a lot more uh, potential sales f and results for your advertising dollar. That's how we're able to spend so little and get so much. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my client. It's a condo development in Houston. I'm actually in Florida. Um, I've never been to Houston, but I hear it's very nice, and, and I know that this condo is very nice. I, I went through all their brochures and everything. It's, it's a really, really nice condo. This is a mock-up of their, um, their condo because it was being built. Uh, it was just finishing up being built at the time. 
So before I started working with them, this is what they did. They boosted posts for $150. Um, they put their phone number in and all that stuff. Uh, you know, they, they, they just, they went nuts. Okay. Um, they just, you know, boosted posts two, three a week. They spent quite a bit of money, uh, every week on these boosted posts and they got no results. They got no leads. They got no sales. They got nothing. Okay. Then I started working with them and this is what happened. This is inside a Facebook ads dashboard. As you can see here, we got leads, full name, email, and phone number, real estate leads for as low as $1.31. Some of them were $291, $242, $263, $238, uh, $1.31. That's an insanely low amount. We got a ton of leads, all right? We spent $441, as you can see here, th on this, this first week. All right, that's what we spent. Now, after we spent that money, I emailed my point of contact at the condo, and I said, hey, because we, we had a phone conversation. I said, hey, Karen, do you have an estimate on the gross sales from that event last Saturday? i just like to keep track of ROIs for my campaigns. I'm guessing it was six units at an average of $150,000 each because they said they sold six units, and they said that the average or the baseline – uh, was 150000 for a condo. And she said, yes, correct. Uh, and I followed up with her and we cross-referenced our, our spreadsheets and made sure, and sure enough, sold six condos from people that went through my ad. And I'm going to show you what I did for the ad here in a moment. So the week one results were $441 spent, six base models at $150,000 each, sold six condos, sold within approximate gross sales of $900,000. $441 in advertising, $900,000 in sales. Again, that's because we can show our ads to only people likely to buy condos. Okay, and again, that's if, you, if you're pretty good at Facebook ads, you can really narrow that down, all right? But I'm gonna show you the exact system we used to do this. So here's the basic strategy on how we do this. There are a variety of campaigns you can set up for this, but this is the basic strategy. So first we have a Facebook ad, and this Facebook ad is offering an event ticket or a floor plan uh, freebie, okay? And what that is, a freebie is something free that's interesting to your potential buyer or seller. And uh, the two things we had the most results with was an event ticket to a not so much an open house, but more of a stylish open house. And I'm going to get more into that in a moment. But it was kind of like a VIP party that we called it instead of an open house. And I'll, I'll tell you more about that in a moment. Or something like a floor plan or a, another very educational PDF document that tells them a lot about, you know, the homes or the condos or whatever. People love floor plans. They absolutely love them, especially one that they can print out. So we offered this in exchange for a name, phone number, and email. And what we did was we drove traffic from the Facebook post using Facebook ads. We drove it to a freebie offer page. And this is also known as a landing page. And this is where they enter their info to get this event ticket or this floor plan PDF. So they go to this page, they enter in their info, and they get it. On the thank you page, because once they enter that in, they come to another page called the thank you page. On the thank you page, we ask them to RSVP to the event, uh, and they'll get an additional freebie. This could be a bottle of wine when they get there or, or um, something, you know, something cool. Uh, you know, a bottle of wine. You can get a cheap bottle of wine for four bucks, you know, um, which is totally, you know, when you're, when you're talking about selling real estate, that's, that's a drop in the bucket. Uh, you, you don't have to do wine. You can do something else. But there's a variety of different things you can do. So uh, that's – we come to the thank you page. And this, this additional freebie just kind of gets them motivated to call an RSVP, which increases the chances of them showing up or calling and scheduling a tour or whatever. So then – we emailed them because we get their email. We emailed them a sequence of emails over several days. And these are automatic emails that go out that we set up. And it sends them reminders about the event. So that, you know, again, again, just like this, increasing the chances, the likelihood they would show up. Or reasons why they should book a tour. For instance, if we were giving them the floor plan. Then 
we also ran retargeting ads. And what this is, it's another Facebook ad, but it's only shown to people that signed up to get this freebie. And again, to remind them about the event or book a tour. And all these things work in conjunction to get the most impact for your advertising dollar. Because once somebody signs up, they might forget it, they might whatever, you know. But if you remind them through emails and ads in their newsfeed saying, hey, don't forget, the, the, this event is this Saturday, it really, really increases the amount of people that actually show up. So the results of this method was pretty amazing. I only spent $3,849 in Facebook ads, and we ran several campaigns, and you can see this here, $3,849, okay? And this was over the entire campaign. We, we spent $441 the first week and did six condos, but we, you know, we kept going for several months. The total ad spend was only $3,849. We packed events, we booked tours, we built an email list of interested buyers, and we sold tons of condos. And this is actually an image from one of the events we did. It was packed. People uh, were going around looking at all the images of the condos. This is kind of like a little uh, sort of little sales center they set up, and uh, it, it was just really awesome. Now, to be fully transparent about this, the ad spend was not their only cost, okay? I charged them $1,500 per month to create, manage, and run their Facebook ad campaign. So they did have to pay me as well. Now, they paid Facebook directly for their ad spend. I had no part in that. I didn't charge them for that. Facebook charged them directly. My fee, which they paid to me directly, was for my time. My time managing the ads, creating, setting all this up, running this, make sure it works good, uh, doing new campaigns, stuff like that. This was, this was, uh, you know, my fee for that. The ad spend was paid directly to Facebook. Now, my goal was to get them such a high ROI that it would more than pay for my fee and then some. Okay. Again, because they were spending, you know, five, six, seven hundred dollars a week and getting nothing, and I and I spent four forty one, sold six condos, and that was one week out of my four weeks that they're paying me my fee for. So it was a much much higher ROI for them having me run their ads. Now, after several months and thirty eight hundred forty nine dollars spent plus the fee they paid me. My client sold 70 plus condos, I think it was like 73 or 74, for about $11 million in sales. And this is uh, Jason Franklin from the Ivy Lofts. This is him right here. I think this is when they were breaking ground. Uh, he gave me a really great testimonial here. Uh, he's, <laughs> my beyond the call assistance in gaining exposure and solid leads have turned, uh, turned into sales, have been invaluable to launching us, and we greatly appreciate it. So they give me a really good uh, testimonial. I, I do appreciate that uh, from Jason. Now, just to recap, this is how we did it. I'm showing you how we did it. We did it. We, we had a Facebook ad offering an event ticket or a floor plan freebie. We took them to an offer page where they entered their information to get this thing. Uh, it was emailed to them or, uh, so they could download it. And in the email, they got their ticket or their floor plan PDF. And they could also download it on this page. Uh, and on this page, we offered them yet something else in order to get them to do a further action like you know, call in an RSVP or request a tour if they downloaded the PDF or whatever it was. We reminded them using an email sequence and retargeting ads, and that got more people to the event. Now, I want to share three main secrets to why this method worked, why this actually worked. So the first secret is serious buyers hate MLS listings, Zillow, Trulia, and especially locked listings. These listings where you have to enter your name and, e and email and to, to see the listing. And those do generate quite a lot of leads, but the leads are very poor quality. Um, they do not like this. So when we started, they, want, they had some ideas. I had some ideas. They wanted me to do this, this thing right here where they would request, you know, in order to see all this information, they had to request a free call. You know, and I told them, I was like, nobody cares about a free call. That's not, all calls are free. It's not really anything of value that you're giving them. So 
what I came up with was a VIP event, okay? And what I did here was, uh, you know, it was, you know, there was free drinks. You know, they had a bartender there, free drinks. This condo was for millennials. The whole project was based around millennial lifestyle in downtown Houston. So I said, listen, millennials like, they like trendy VIP parties. They like to drink and wear their little fedora hats and, and feel special and feel trendy. So let's get them to this event. Let's make it sort of like, let's get get some, you know, cheap liquor, get a bartender, show them around, make it like this cool little sort of mixer event instead of an open house because that's so boring, you know, especially for millennials. So here's the results. Um, this was the request a call for the Ivy Lofts uh, uh, landing page or, or the offer page. And this was my one. I called it Ivy Lofts. This was the event one. So here's the difference. Uh, only 5% of the people that saw this offer, that went to this offer page, actually entered their information to get this call. 33% entered their information to go to this event, to get a ticket to this VIP event, okay? Uh, 33, so that means for every 100 people that saw it, five signed up to their idea and 33 signed up to mine. Now you might say, well, you know, uh, that's because they wanted free drinks or whatever, but that wasn't the case. Uh, again, my idea sold six condos in one day. Okay, they went to the event and they purchased six condos. I asked, I said, hey, Karen, do you have an estimate on gross sales? I showed you this email. Uh, six units, $150,000 each. They sold six condos the day they all went there. They sold six condos. Boom, one shot. Okay, and it was, so it was totally worth the free liquor. Again, I'm not saying this is what you have to do. This was targeted towards what they were selling. They were selling a millennial real estate project. So this was, this was the right decision for this project. So let me get into secret number two. Facebook ads can be extremely low cost if you take the time to set up split testing. Now what split testing is essentially, is we try a bunch of different things, okay? So we try a bunch of different things, a bunch of different audiences, and we see which converts best, all right? And we do this over you know, several weeks, uh, we figure it out, and we get the lowest possible ad spend. So for instance, um, you know, 231 per lead, 269 per lead, $1.87 per lead, 138 per lead, these are really low lead costs. You know, 14s, 12, these are people signing up to come to this event or get this PDF or whatever. Now you can see down here that this was $5 per lead, a little bit high, $8.723 per lead. These are not so good and that's why we turned these off. We got one or we got four of these, one of these, one of these. We went ahead and turned these off so we weren't wasting money and we kept these on so that we got the lowest possible lead cost. The at overall average was $2.21 and we got 96 leads from this particular run. 96 leads at an average of $2.21. Full name, email, and phone number, real estate leads. Again, if you take the time to figure it out and split test, you can make you can get some really low cost leads that easily convert into sales. So that brings me to secret number three: potential buyers and sellers love to be educated, especially with video. After we had some successful campaigns going, the um, the condo development asked me, "Hey, you know." Can you, can you do some extra, can you, let, let, let's target some different type of people. Um, what, what can we do to really ramp this up? And so I said, well, let's, let's do some video. So I created some videos for them. And these two particular videos did really well. We had an educational video on all the features of the condo. They have electric car sta uh, charging stations there. So that was pretty cool. Uh, we also had uh, this whole video on apartment rent and how apartment rent was actually costing you more than living in your own condo. So it was really, really cool stuff. And as you can see here, 10,000 views, 22,000 views. These generated a lot of sales, a ton of sales. Um, so to recap, the whole strategy here is you run a Facebook ad offering a, a event ticket or floor plan freebie or, or a different type of, of PDF, something that your customer would want, and I help them figure that out for their market. You take them to a freebie offer page where they enter their information to get 
that freebie, that ticket. You take them to a thank you page where you offer something else to sort of upgrade them to get them to take a further action. And then you remind them with emails and retargeting ads. And this gets more people to call, more people to come to your event, what have you. This, this system right here is so simple to set up. You know, with, with a Facebook ad and pages, it's really, really simple. Uh, and, and it works. It just works. So my question now is, would you like help doing this? Would you like help taking this very simple system, this process of running a simple Facebook ad, and putting it into action for your real estate business? If you would like that, I can help you with that. You can book a free strategy call with me. It's absolutely free, and I can look at your real estate business and help you come up with a plan of action for you personally. Now, I want to be totally honest and transparent. I do charge $1,500 per month for my services. That's the same amount I charge the condo development, and I think that was well worth it considering the results we got and the ROI we got for them. So that is my fee that I charge every month to do this in a done-for-you service if that's what you want. However, I would be happy to jump on the phone with you on this call and create a plan of action for you for free. You can take that plan of action and you can go do it yourself. All I ask is that you just tell people, hey, Dan Henry told me how to do this. Just give me a little referral. I'm totally happy with that. However, if you want it done for you to where you don't have to worry about it at all. I charge $1,500 per month for that, and I'd be happy to talk about moving forward with that as well if that's the direction you decide to go. If you'd like to jump on a call with me, you can click the button below this video. Once you click the button, you'll be taken to an application page where you can tell me more about your business. This way I can sort of prepare uh, when we get on the call and I will already have an idea of the strategy that I think would be best for your real estate business. So you click that button, you'll be taken to this page, it's only a few short questions and you can then go ahead and click the next button which will take you uh, to this page where you can select your date and time for the call. And if it's blue, that means it's available and you'll be able to select that date and that time and I'll give you a call and we will go over just how to implement this and the exact strategy that I think will work for your real estate business specifically. So thank you so much for watching this case study. I hope it helps. I hope you're able to put this strategy into practice for your business. And if you need some help, once again, you can click the button below to get some help from me, fill out some information about your business, book your time for the call, and I'll go over this system with you personally on the phone and how we can implement it into your real estate business. Thank you so much. Hope to hear from you soon.